Alright guys, so this is going to be the second part of the Cricut video. So this is how the Cricuts come in when I ship them in. They come in this handy dandy box. Um, I already opened it. So what I do is I have an empty tub and that's my intermediate place for the Cricuts. I open it and I quickly dump them all into the tub. You don't really want anything left. So the crickets are shipped in a couple of egg cartons and um, and with some potato for food and water. So that's what they eat while they're in that box. So what I do is I like to shake them all out. I pretty much remove all of the solids. the potato too. They haven't even really gone into it. Alright, now I remove all the potatoes because I already have food and water for them. They don't need that anymore. And they kind of try to cling on to anything that you give them. Excuse me. So now you can see most of them are alive. There's very few deaths here. So what I do is I take a clean carton, right, and I place it down. And in just a few seconds, most of them will actually have climbed on. So everything that's on here is alive. So I put it straight into their new home, yay! And if you see, they usually just start going straight for the food and water. It's pretty great. So now I'll go ahead and I'll stick another one. This is actually a point where I go ahead and I grab a couple of cupfuls and, um, and I feed them out immediately. That way I don't put the thousand crickets that I ordered directly into the tub. Um, oh look! There's some already eating and drinking. They're so funny. All right, so now here we have another bunch and off they go. So I like to put my egg cartons kind of like that over and look at how much is left. So there's very few alive and dead, which is pretty much what we're looking for. So then I take a couple of small ones and I'll put them in there for them to kind of climb onto that. What I do is I take a couple more and I'll put them inside, kind of like this. I also take I also take some tubes of um, paper towel rolls and I put them in like that. This kind of creates a little more surface area. They like the like hiding in it and it makes it real easy to pull them out. See there's already one in there. Um, oh <laughs> they're all coming out. So they go from the bottom they'll come up and they kind of live in there so when you come in later you know like tomorrow say I want to feed out some crickets all I have to do is grab one of these and they'll all come out so that's an easy way to so if we come back here you'll see that the rest of them bam they came out so for the most part that's pretty much how easy was that you guys so there's a few left I let them kind of run out because you know whatever it makes it real easy to separate the dead from the live there's usually a few weirdos that will that will kind of hang out on their dead brethren, but you know, what are you going to do? I like to shake it up a little bit, because they like to hide in, in the dead bodies, and you know, every cricket counts. Sometimes the crickets will, um, the places that breed crickets, they breed a bajillion crickets. So they have all kinds of tubs, and it's only natural for little bugs to tag in. Sometimes you get these little fuzzy worms which become these little beetles. They're not really harmful to anything. I haven't really had any problems at all 
with them. So, all right, so this is pretty much what's left. It's actually not so bad, not so bad. All right, so, so this pretty much goes in the trash. I mean, I usually make sure that every single Cricut is out just because I don't really like to leave any behind, but that's gonna go in the trash. And as you can see, I filled up as much as I could here with um, egg carton. And um, I just kind of throw some in. Usually I'll do it backwards so that it doesn't, if you put it in like this, then it, it's, you know, not really too good for them for walking and stuff. So I kind of do it like that just to create more space. And they can't climb um, plastic. So you see he's there, but they can't really climb up. What, what you can do to keep them from climbing up further is put tape all around. If you put some clear tape all around the brim, then they can't climb through clear tape. So they can climb up to it, but not beyond it. So, so this is pretty much it. And then when you want to go back, and oh look, there's somebody already there. So when you want to go back and feed them out, then you just dump them into a cup. Next time I feed, I'll do another video so I can kind of show you guys how, how I go about it. Right now everybody's fresh in from the box. I'm just gonna let them, you know, exist like crickets do in their tub with food and water and space and, you know, all that good stuff.